Hey Vapors, this is your host Mike. Alright, remember my last video where I ordered that Limitless RDTA Plus and uh, I broke it. So I said I ordered another one. Well, here it is. So, we're going to dive down and see what you guys get in this box. I know it's not a brand new RDTA by any means. It is the Plus though. So there's some differences between the old standard one and then the Plus. We'll go over that on the download. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. We are down low looking at the Limitless RDTA Plus. On the back, these are going to be your specs. You got the scratch and sniff. So this is what's new on the Plus. Uh, 25 millimeter diameter. 6.3 millimeter capacity. Upgraded two post deck. We'll look at that. Colored titanium screws. So on and so forth. You guys can read that if you so wish. Okay. So this is kind of uh, packaging you're going to get. You're going to get the RDTA. Replacement smoked out glass, a bag of goodies, you have a drip tip right there to make this a little bit longer. You have some pre-made coils, some scrub screws, o-rings, a silicone cap for a single build coil if you so wish, a screwdriver, and that's what you're going to get in this kit. So let's get this out of the way and look at the business of it. There it is. Take a look at that. Take a look at this. This is the one I did order and I broke all the hell. Look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, I messed it all up. I, I think I'm going to just use it for parts. Um... Unless you guys are looking for some replacement parts, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I can send this to you for uh, some parts you guys are looking for. Alright. So yeah, that's the broke-ass one. So that's what it's supposed to look like. The reason I ordered this is I don't like the uh, hexed set screws. The scrub screws, the hex ones, the Allen, whatever you guys want to call them. Because they're just a pain in the ass and they strip out real easy. So this is the reason why I got this. Because everything is a Star or Phillips, whatever you guys want to call it. Star screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver. I don't know. I just like that a little bit better. So this one does come completely down. There's your 510. It does protrude quite a bit. So your hybrid mods should work just fine with this. Now to take it all down, you got this ring. This ring unscrews, and then you can pull this glass. Then you can swap out and put the smoked glass in. I'll show you guys here. So there's the smoked out. You get that in the kit as well. Then you can put this back on. Just like that. Alright, we're going to, uh, I'm going to make a build quick, and we'll wick this together. Um, let me get some uh, coils made up and uh, I'll come back and we'll uh, wick it up and try it out. I'm using this uh, Coil Master 521 Mini. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna just use the coils that it came with. It's gonna be just a little bit quicker and easier. So that's what we're gonna do here. So you're gonna wanna get this in here, kinda like so. We'll get it cleaned up here. Let's see where we're at. 0.33. Yeah. Alright guys, let's clean this up a little bit. These coils. And we'll uh, fire them and see what it looks like. So it should be, yeah, 0.18. You guys see that alright? Let's fire it.
Okay, so I'm going to relax these a little bit. All right, guys, I got the cotton in here. Um, I use a uh, Japanese organic. So I get it in sheets like this. So I got the cotton in. I am using what the uh, coils that it comes with. Usually I don't, guys. I really don't. I uh, stay away from the pre -builts. Just because I'm never happy with what the pre builts look like or how they perform. But this is just a, a review for you guys of this is what you get. You do not get any cotton in that kit. The uh, Limitless RDTA Plus. There is no cotton. So make sure you guys pick up some cotton. So I'm going to take this tweezers. Um, these tweezers are really nice. And I kind of just fluff out the ends here a little bit as you can see and then I'll remove all this excess you don't want to go too crazy just enough where these fibers the juice is gonna really flow nicely through the fibers so you don't get dry hits but you want enough yet where you're not gonna be dumping e-juice all over the place alright so that's how it should look you guys see that okay? That's how it should look. Okay. So now I'm going to take the same tweezers and I'm going to tuck this up in the juice ports here. I don't know, some guys, they cut their ends after fluffing and stuff like that. But honestly, I don't, I've never seen a reason to. I've never seen an improvement. So... If you want it to look beautiful, you know, you're showing your build, then so be it. Clean it up. But I'm not after a show build. I'm after enjoyment for myself. If I want a show build, then I'll take a half hour and put a beautiful build on. Okay, so then I'll just fluff this up at the... Out the coils here you see where the coils are kind of just fluff that up a little bit from getting tugged out and stuff I found that uh, it does help on dry hits it really does it's kind of like that <laughs> blow off the excess all right and then we're gonna be using some uh, kind of homemade juice set uh, this is a vapor DNA that you get when you order stuff from vapor DNA uh, it's kind of a homemade juice that I've made. I went and picked up some uh, VG, some uh, flavoring, and a small bottle of nicotine. Um, lab created nicotine. So I made some myself. Um, I just wanted something a little different. I couldn't find it. So I figured I'll just make something myself. I didn't make much just because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. And I really didn't want to be stuck with a lot of uh, juice that tasted like dog shit. So weird shit like some e-juice does me and my wife just had a baby two days ago and uh we just got home from the hospital yesterday so sorry this video is kind of behind uh, we'll say it is what it is at that point all right guys we're gonna bring it back up top vape on it i'm gonna fill up the rest of it but now you see how it's done i'm sure most of you guys know how to do that all right vapors we're back up top i have the Limitless iJoy RDTA Plus on my Lost Vape Scar. Okay, yeah, and what the scar looks like, we've been over this. I like the sleeves. So, this is only a 75 watt uh, DNA mod. We're going to run it at 70, and it's reading at 0.17 ohms of resistance. Okay, see that all right? So, we're going to be pushing this little scar. Let's see how the Limitless RDTA Plus vapes. It vapes. <laughs> it vapes. Um, a lot of airflow. This is ridiculous amount of airflow. Um, they do have a slot here if you turn this turn this top and hold this you can turn it down you see that metal there that's turning it down a little bit wide open it's a lot of airflow 
Um, it's I can't keep up with the airflow. It's so much. All right, let's uh, for comparison's sake, let's try doing a uh, a cloud competition with myself. <laughs> let's bring it up to seventy-five watt. What do you guys think? I know there are some comments that uh, I'm full of hot air, but yeah, yeah. I could be, very well could be, but that was a, a vape cloud. Let's uh, crack this open, wide open again. I don't know. It vapes. The flavor is really good. It's not as warm as I thought it would be. It's actually a cool vape. Um, I'm sure I'm going to try it on my uh, GX350 and ramp it off a little bit. It's going to look ridiculous. Blue and purple, but eh, you know, whatever. There's a lot of things that I do that look ridiculous. So, Anyways, <clears throat> that is the Limitless RDTA Plus um, Take 2. Uh, the first one, as you know, is I broke. I broke all the hell. I, I was not happy with myself after that whole ordeal. Like I said, I pay for everything myself, so it was 30 plus dollars thrown right down the shitter. So if you guys are looking for some extra parts for the Limitless, let me know, um, the RDTA. Um, see if I can hook you up or help you out with something. Uh, other than that, this probably be, I, I'm working on getting that uh, Wismic Predator. And I know some other reviewers already got theirs, but again, I pay for all the stuff myself. So I don't have the luxury of uh, manufacturer sponsorship where they send it to you before the public. So I am working on that. I did pre-order that. And there is also a uh, Sigeli. It's a, um, I think it's a Solaris. I'll post a link below. I'm trying to get my hands on that too. That one has the uh, colored ring around it led six different colors uh, i'm trying to get my hands on that as well but i can't find anyone that uh has it right now or willing to give one up i've contacted some manufacturers trying to buy it from them no it ain't gonna happen so anyways yeah that's the frustrations that i go through on a daily basis trying to keep you guys updated on the most up-to-date and accurate information that i can get my hands on so there's somewhat of a disadvantage, but I am doing what I can to keep this an honest review channel for you guys. So anyways, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for you guys uh, really uh, supporting that Lost Vape showdown. Let me know in the comments below if there's something else you guys want to see. Um, I did have a guy uh, make a comment, and I'm still looking into that. I did message him back, seeing if there's another alternative he wants to see. Uh, a 200 watt mod and the guy knows who he is or gal knows who this person is um so if you see this make sure you read the comments because i reached out back to you all right guys keep vaping be safe i'll see you on the next video